I have been having a lot of fun fiddling with the Pixel 6, especially the camera. As promised in my one week later impressions video, I wanted to explore some of the camera features of the Pixel 6 today. Mainly 360 photospheres, Google Lens and Panorama. None of these photo features are unique to the Pixel 6 in any way, but work great due to the improved AI powers of the Pixel 6 and the work Google has been doing. First up are Photospheres, which are 360 panoramic images. You access it by opening your camera app and going to modes, then selecting it. It works by having you take multiple photos in a circle around you, then stitching them together. But instead of the traditional flat panorama image, you can navigate the image in a 360 degree space. Very cool for scenic locations. I tested it out at a couple of places, but the example you are watching is on the grounds of a shrine. After the pictures are taken, it takes a few moments for the 360 image to be ready. Not long ago, this took much longer, was far less user friendly and often failed to stitch together seamlessly. Next, let's check out the Google Lens, a kind of image recognition and searching technology that is available as a standalone app but comes built into the Pixel 6. Say you are out and about and you see something you want to learn more about like a sign or a famous building or in my case, a tree. Whip out your phone, fire up lens and just point the camera at the tree and Google's neural network will quickly do the rest. So from the image, Google has found out that this tree is Cryptomeria japonica. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. The sugi is a kind of conifer that is believed to be endemic to Japan and I can continue reading more about it if I want to or I can wander off and find another tree to feed to Google's AI and see what it spits out at me. So, according to Lens, this is the word I can pronounce, japonica, a shrub in the another word I can pronounce family found in East Asia in countries like China, Korea and Japan. Lastly, another feature standard to any decent smartphone purchased in the last decade but made better by the Pixel 6 is panoramic photos. Again, nothing new here on the UI side. You choose the mode, then follow the on-screen prompts and arrows to take your panoramic image by slowly sweeping your phone in the direction of the arrows while keeping things framed up nicely. Use the on-screen grid as a guide as well and pretty soon taking cool panoramas will be second nature. It's best to keep things steady and straight but I have found it to be quite forgiving when taking horizontal or vertical panoramic images as I'm showing off here. After sweeping your phone in the direction as instructed, a few moments of processing, stitching and AI goodness gives you a nice traditional panoramic image unlike the 360 version I fiddled with earlier using the photospheres mode. And there you have it, Photosphere, Google Lens and Panorama Camera Mode features of the Pixel 6. If you got some value from this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment below to let me know what else I should test on the Pixel 6 or if you have any questions about the phone. Thank you for watching.